subscribe to simplified biology channel and press the bell icon to get notified when a new video is uploaded hello friends welcome to simplified biology today's topic is gibralins a plant growth regulator gibralins a japanese farmer in his rice field found a seedling that was extremely tall he named this seedling bakane bakane means foolish seedling it was kurosawa who showed that this was due to an infection by a fungus that is gibrella fusicorae gibrella fusicorae is now known as fusarium monoliforme so it is through this gibrella that the name gibralin came Yabuta and Sumuki isolated it and named it as gibralin. Chemically, it is gibralic acid, that is C nineteen H twenty two O six. More than hundred different types of gibralins are known. of which ga3 is the most common precursor of gibralin is mevalonic acid which is derived from acetyl coenzyme a it is synthesized in the shoot buds young leaves and developing seeds while it is transported by simple diffusion physiological effects and uses of gibralin the main effect of gibralin it is is capable of increasing the length of the plant so first it causes stem elongation and leaf expansion stem elongation by inducing cell division and cell elongation in the internodal cells or in the internodal region it has no effect on roots now this property of auxin is used to increase the length of grape stalks now if the length of the grape stalks is increased then the number of grapes can be increased in a cluster so by increasing the length of the grape stalk the number of grapes in a cluster can be increase it also increases the length or the size of the grapes now this effect is also used to increase the length of the sugarcane stem sugar is obtained from the stem of sugarcane so if the length of the sugarcane stem is increased then the production of sugar is increased so it it is capable of increasing 
the yield of sugar to as much as 20 tons per acre. Next, it is capable of converting a genetically dwarf plant into a tall plant. A dwarf plant of pea or corn can be made tall by providing gibberellin. It can also convert a rosette plant, means a plant in which the internode length is very small, like cabbage and beet into a tall one. This rapid elongation of stem is known as bolting. And bolting occurs just prior to flowering. So this is a rosette plant which can be made tall by giving gibralin. Next, it is capable of causing flowering in long day plants under short day conditions. Now there are certain plants in which the length of the dark or the light period is important for flowering. In case of a long day plant, it is the light period which is important for flowering. While in case of a short day plant, it is the dark period that is important for flowering. Now a long day plant can be made to flower under short day conditions by providing gibralin. Next effect is it is capable of substituting cold treatment in biennials. Biennials are plants which complete the life cycle in two seasons. In the first season they grow vegetatively when they require the cold treatment after which they flower and fruit in the next season. Now when to these plants, the biennials, when gibralin is provided, they flower in the same season. Thus substituting the cold treatment. Next effect is it promotes formation of male flowers, especially in cannabis and cucurbits. Next, it has the capability of breaking dormancy in buds and tubers. It controls fruit growth and development and induces parthenocarpy. It is more effective than auxin in inducing parthenocarpy. Parthenocarpy is formation of fruit without fertilization. It induces parthenocarpy in apple and pear, the pome fruits and is also capable of elongating the fruit or increasing the size of the fruit. Next, it is capable of delaying fruit maturity and senescence that is aging, thus helping to store the fruit Example in citrus fruits. Next effect, spraying of gibralin on juvenile conifers, that is young conifers. Conifers are the gymnosperms. They become mature early. As a result, early seed formation occurs. For example, pine seeds, that is chilgoza. Next is they speed up the malting process 
by increasing alpha amylase in germinating barley seeds. Malting means germination of cereal grains so that the starch present in the grain gets converted into various types of sugars. Now the malt that is formed is used in brewery industry that is beer industry and it is also used in various milk drinks like Horlicks, Maltova and last they cause germination in photoplastic positive seeds. Photoplastic positive seeds are lettuce and tobacco. These seeds they require light for germination. Now these seeds can be made to germinate in dark with the help of gibralin. So these are the effects and uses of gibralin. And once again the effects of gibralin. In stem, they are capable of causing stem elongation due to which they are they can convert a genetically dwarf plant or a rosette plant into a tall plant. They are capable of leaf expansion also. Has no effect on roots. Next, the flower. They are capable of flowering in long day plants under short day conditions. They are capable of replacing cold treatment in biennials. And they produce more male flowers in cannabis and cucurbits. Next, Fruits, they are capable of inducing parthenocarpy, that is formation of fruits without fertilization. They take part in the development of fruit or you can say they help in fruit growth and development. They can delay fruit maturity and senescence thus helping to store the fruit. Next the seeds they help in early seed formation in conifers speed up germination in barley seeds and cause photoplastic positive states to germinate in dark. Besides this they can break bud and tuber dormancy. That's all for today. Please do like, subscribe and comment and also visit our website by clicking on the link given below. Thank you. Thank you for watching.